Hey there, Fragrance Fam. It's me, Caitlin, back in the AFI Project Lab, and today we'll be making some candle embeds. Embeds are popping up everywhere in the candle making world lately, thanks to their ability to transform an everyday item into a piece of home decor. And what better way to incorporate them into our candles today than with our Fruit Loops fragrance oil? When I'm making any embeds for my candles and wax melts, I like to prep them beforehand in large batches so they remain consistent and I could just grab them when it's time to make the candles themselves. Measure out an ounce of your preferred wax to get the embeds made. I'm using GW464, but if you have other waxes on hand, pick one that's brittle enough to easily unmold without losing its shape. Melt it down in a small mixing container using a double boiler, and once it's liquid, add in your candle dye. If you want your embeds to be bright and vibrant, I recommend liquid dyes. Six drops for every pound of wax will give you a nice bright color, but if you're only coloring a little bit of wax for these embeds, simply dip a toothpick into the dye and stir it in. I'm going to start with pink. To save some time and money, I typically don't scent embeds this small since they're gonna take up such a small part of the candle. But if you're making larger embeds, add your fragrance of choice in at 5% concentration. Let the colored wax cool to about 135 degrees Fahrenheit and fill the mold cavities with the melted wax. Each piece of cereal is so tiny that it'll only take a little while to cool. It might be tempting to pop them into the freezer, but this will make it a lot harder to unmold them without cracking them. So be patient and let them harden for about a half an hour. Any wax that you have left over can be set aside and remelt it to make more embeds when these are unmolded. Once they're cooled, gently wiggle them free by peeling the sides of the mold away from each embed and press them out from underneath. Set the unmolded embeds aside and repeat the same steps with orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple dyes and get the whole rainbow of fruity cereal pieces. So here's a bunch of embeds I've got made here. Now we're ready to make the candle and the bonus wax melts. This is no different than any other candle, so I'll keep it brief so we can get to adding the embeds. If you want a more in-depth step-by-step, head on over to fragranceuniversity.com for a full course on candle making. To speed things up, I've already got my vessels wicked using some six inch Eco 8 wicks. Melt down the other 15 ounces of your wax. Once it's reached 185 degrees Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat source and let it cool 10 degrees and then add the fragrance. And here I've got our Fruit Loop scent. It's hard to believe how much it smells like the real thing. I have 1.2 ounces of it measured out here for an 8% fragrance load. Stir it into the wax thoroughly and bring it down to pouring temp. For me, I like it around 135 degrees and 10 or so degrees lower for the clamshell molds to avoid warping the plastic. When you fill up your vessels and clamshell molds, leave a little more space at the top than you normally do. This way the embeds can fit nicely on top without preventing the containers from being sealed up before they go on store shelves. Don't add the embeds just yet. They could melt or sink to the bottom if you do. Once the wax has solidified, you're ready to add the embeds. To make things easier, trim the wicks of the cooled candles to a fourth of an inch. Before adhering them, hit the surface with a heat gun for a couple of seconds until a thin layer of wax has liquefied and gently place the embeds in. Adjust them with a toothpick if you need to. And that completes our embed candles. I hope you guys think that these are as cute as I do. Once you get this technique down and you find some embed modes that you like, the possibilities are endless. And if you make tons of embed embeds beforehand, it's easy to make these candles in bulk to support large order volumes. Please let me know what you think about these candles and pick up a free sample of our Fruit Loops fragrance if you're interested in adding these to your product line. Leave a like on this video and subscribe so you can have more content like this in your feed real soon. Thank you so much for watching Fragrance Fam and bye for now!